Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, people, we will start the class. <laughs> How are you today? How do you feel? How do you feel? Do you feel bored? Do you feel tired? Do you feel sad? <laughs> or do you feel happy? How do you feel today? Mm -hmm. How do you feel, Rosa? I'm fine. Oh, okay, not happy. <laughs> not so happy. Okay, what about you, Alma? I'm happy. Okay, very good. I'm happy too. Uh huh. Ronaldo, welcome. How do you feel today? Okay. Um. Let's see. Well, Stephanie will be as a listener tonight. Uh. Devora, how are you doing? How do you feel? I am fine, teacher. Okay, I see you're at home. Yes, are you at teacher. home? Is it yes. your day off? Um, no. Uh, no. How do you say incapacidad? Oh, okay. You have license. Uh huh. You have a sickness. Oh, a leave for sickness. Mm -hmm. I yes, leave for pero, uh, return my work um, uh, just uh, tomorrow. Uh, mañana? Huh? Oh, okay. It's only one day. Yes. Enjoy. Enjoy, <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> yes, enjoy. <laughs> okay, great. I hope you feel better. All right. I hope you feel better. Mm, all right. Saul, how do you feel today? How do you feel today? Do you feel happy? Do you feel sad? Hi, teacher. Hi. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Are you still at work? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Well, no problem. Uh, but stay connected as a listener, all right? Hello, Gabriela. Welcome. Okay, people, we are going to show some verbs because this is what we want to practice today. Today we have our unit review. So we are going to practice. We, we, we want to practice the vocabulary. We want to practice the grammar. And also we want to practice writing, reading, listening. All right. And so right now we are going to um, start by recalling the verbs. Okay, recalling the verbs. What's the way to transform the base form of the verb plus the ing, right? To become an ing, to make gerunds, right? Okay, a little bit, uh, just, uh, just, it moved, everything moved. Excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was uh, closing some topics why, um, to stay in the class. Oh, okay. I, I, I finished. I finish oh, all right. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Great to hear that. Great to hear. Yes. So you're going to be with you. Hmm? I'm, so, I'm sorry, you are going to be with us. <laughs> okay, um, it says writing a program of your manual. Okay. So we want to write an email today. So allow me just to complete this.
Okay, great. So at this moment, we want to learn or to practice the verbs. Okay, are you ready, guys? Are you ready? So I will show you, I will show you a verb and then you will say, well, you will say the verb have, and then you are going to say the ing verb form, okay? There you go. At the same time, I need you to say the rule, all right? The rule. Drop letter E, add ing, mm, change letter Y, mm, keep letter Y, add ing, all right? Double the last consonant, all right? This is what we were going to do. You guys ready? Let's start with the first one. And here it is. It is. Mm -hmm. Have, right? Having. Okay. What's the rule? Um, chain. Letter. Chain. Letter E. E for ing. Okay, drop letter E. Drop. Drop. Uh -huh. Drop. D R O P. Drop letter E at ing. Okay, drop. so we have having. Correct. All right. It. At ing. All right. Mm -hmm. e Getting up. Getting up. Yes. Mm -hmm. add the, the rule is add the second consonant. Double the last consonant. Double, double consonant. Double. Yes. Double the last consonant and add ing. Very good. Uh huh. Putting. Putting. Put in. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the rule? It's similar rule. <laughs> yeah. Say it. Say it. Say it. Please. I need you to say it. Uh huh. Double the last consonant. Double the last consonant and add ing. Very good. Everybody, double the last consonant and, and add ing. A ver, quiero oírlos a todos, ¿sí? Vamos. Double, double. Do we double? Teacher. Ay, que me cuesta decir esa palabra. Double. Ah, okay. Double. Uh -huh. Double. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Where? Uh-huh. Where? 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 Yes. At ING, teacher. Okay. Say it. Wearing. Wearing. Yes, teacher. Wearing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Ordenémonos. Vamos a hacer así. Yo digo este verbo porque lo estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Where. Entonces, ustedes dicen wearing, pero me dicen de una vez la rule, ¿verdad? Vamos. Where. Okay, teacher. Wearing. Mm -hmm. is at I-N-G. All right. So it is wearing. Very good. Study. Is studying. Is drop J and add I-N-G. Uh, this is a letter Y. Y. Sorry, teacher. Y. Okay. Everybody agrees? No. No? Why not, Rosa Estela? Alma? Um, yeah. I uh, keep uh, Okay. Keep uh -huh. the at ing keep the letter y yes you're right uh-huh you keep the letter y because we have a consonant right here so we mm -hmm. don't need to uh change it right we just add ing very good play playing playing mm -hmm. at ing at ing very good mm -hmm. swim swim swimming mm -hmm. at ing uh, just, oh, okay, double the letter M, okay? Swimming, that's correct. Watch. Watching. Mm -hmm. Watching. Watching mm -hmm. at ING, teacher. Okay, at ING. Mm -hmm. Call. Calling. Calling. Calling, uh -huh. the, the spelling rule. Yes, at ING. Add ing, okay. Mm -hmm. Work. Working. Mm -hmm. Working. Is similar add ing? Yes, repeat, repeat. Don't say similar, just say add <laughs> ing. There you go. Uh -huh. Yes, now read. 
reading. Reading. Add ing. Add ing. Very good. Uh huh. Right. Waiting. Dropler. Add ing. Very good. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drive. Drive. Mm hmm. Dropler e and add ing. Okay. Take. Taking. Uh -huh. Is drop letter e and add ing. Uh -huh. Solo a Saúl oigo yo. ¿Qué pasó? A ver, no se me queden. Vamos todos. Uh -huh. Run. Run. Running. 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 Yep. What double is the rule? Double M. Double M. Okay, we double the last consonant, right? And add ing. Very good. Mm -hmm. Ride. 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 Riding. Riding. Uh huh. Drop letter e and add ing. Very mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Sleep. 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 Sleeping. Mm -hmm. Add ing. Very good. Dance. Dancing. Yeah. Dancing. Okay, dancing. I'm sorry about this. It's just a little harder. Uh -huh. Dancing, so we drop letter E. And add ING. And add ING. Very good. Walk. Walking. Walking. Uh -huh. Add ING. Add ING. Very good. Mm -hmm. Get. L Get. Double S. Getting is. Double S, double S, double S. Consonant, uh-huh. And not ING. Very good. Mm -hmm. Getting, right? Get getting. Pray. Pray, pray. Mm -hmm. Praying. Pray pray. is to pray, right? Mm -hmm. Keep letter Y, add ING. Very pray. good. Mm -hmm. Praying. Yeah, like praying. our Father, our Father, uh, Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name, right? <laughs> so that's pray, praying, yeah. All right, play. Play. What's the rule? Keep letter uh, Y. Add, add, add ING. ING. Very good. Mm -hmm. Preferring. No, this is refer, refer. Re Hmm? Refer. Refer. Referring. Uh huh. Is... And this one? Remember, refer. Two mm -hmm. syllables, right? The stress is at the last syllable, right? If we have the stress on the last syllable and it ends with the letter R, well, actually, Maybe there are others uh, that don't end in letter R, but usually they end in letter R. We double, right? We double the consonant because it has two syllables, but the stress is at the end, not in the first one, right? But at the end. So, referring, all right? Referring. Referring. Double Re R. Double the last consonant and I and add ing. Offer. Mm -hmm. Offer. Where is the stress? Offer. 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 Mm -hmm. Do we double the last consonant? Offer. Offer. Yes, teacher. Do we double the last consonant? No, right? Because it is not offer, right? Mm -hmm. It's not offer, it's offer. offer. So we don't double the last consonant. Offering, offering. This is referring, all right? This is offering, right? Okay, come. Coming. Coming. Mm -hmm. Coming. We drop letter E. And add ING. Very good, okay? Is dying, do, do, do mm -hmm. dying, doing, 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 mm -hmm. doing, do, doing, do, doing, 
Okay. Occur. 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 Uh -huh. Occurring. Mm -hmm. Occurring. Yes. Exactly. Uh -huh. What is the rule? Is at ing. We add ing. Just that. Oh, cure. Where is the stress? Cure, right? Cure. It's not an. It doesn't say all oh, cure, right? It says oh, cure. So we double the last consonant, all right? And we say occurring, occurring, all right? Two syllable verbs. If the stress is at the end, then we double the last consonant, all right? Feel. Feeling. 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 Okay, Feeling. what is the rule? Uh, I am here. Exactly. There you go. Thank you, Alma. Okay, try. Trying. Trying. Mm -hmm. At oh, very good. All right. So, is there any question about the verbs? Is there any question? Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. but I, I think it's difficult remember the rule. For example, is the double the double last consonant. Okay, you double the last consonant only if you have one syllable verb with consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay, consonant, vowel, consonant, that's the rule. Then okay. we double the last consonant, all right? Look, consonant, vowel, consonant, all right? So we have putting, we double. And there is another, okay? There is another, uh, for example, if you have a verb, a two syllable verb, two syllable verb that the stress goes in the last syllable, okay? In the last syllable, then we double the last consonant, all right? So here we say refer, okay? This is the stress, right? Aquí recae el acento. Entonces, si recae en la última el acento, Es aguda, ¿verdad? Este, si recae en la última el acento, entonces le doblamos la consonante, ¿ok? La repetimos, ¿sí? Hacemos okay. referring. ¿Cuál es la, la contraria? Double syllable. I mean, two syllable verbs, but the stress is in the second one, right? Will be the, the first one and then the second one, because they count one, two, three, all right? They count from the last. Nosotros estamos al revés, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos en la antepenúltima, en la penúltima, ¿sí? En este caso es la penúltima sílaba, ¿sí? Entonces, porque esta es la última. Entonces, si cae aquí el estrés, si cae aquí el acento, no voy a doblar la doble, la, la eh, última consonante, ¿ok? Voy a decir offer, offering. Offering. Se mantiene okay. igual, solo add ing. Esa es la diferencia con los de two syllable. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Ah, teníamos el otro occur. Occur, miren, el verbo en realidad, ocurrir, no va con doble R en inglés, ¿verdad? A nosotros sí. Pero en inglés no, miren, lo que lleva doble es la C. Recordemos eso porque a veces este crea confusión, ¿ok? Occur es lo mismo que happen, all right? Es lo mismo que happen. Occur, occurring. Occur, occurring. Occurring. Como el acento va al final, tenemos esta R, la doblamos, ¿sí? Ok, teacher. There you go. En esta es de una sílaba, ¿verdad? Pero no tenemos consonant, vowel, consonant. Entonces se mantiene solo con una L. ¿sí? Ok, los verbos que terminan en una Y, en una W o en una X, no se dobla la consonante, ¿ok? No se dobla la consonante. Solo se agrega la ing. Exacto, y normalmente esos son los que, bueno, hay otra, hay otra en donde hay unos verbos que ter, eh, terminan en ie, mira, solo por ejemplo, die, uh, die, um, ahorita no me acuerdo, pero esos verbos 
cambian completamente, ¿ok? Lo voy a poner por acá para que ubiquemos, sí, por ejemplo, el verbo lie, el verbo mentir, ¿sí? Sería así, ¿ok? Cambia totalmente. Esta ahí se convierte en y, y y le ponemos y en, ¿ok? Y, por ejemplo, die, también, ¿sí? dying. ¿Ok? Estamos hablando de eh, teñir, ¿verdad? No de morir. Este es de teñir. ¿sí? Teñir. Uh -huh. Yes. How do you say the pronunciation this? I dying. Lying. 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 Yes. Ok. Y con este sí, acuérdense que hay otro que es así. ¿Ve? Hay otro que es así y que también la pronunciación suena igual. Lying. Okay. Lying. Lying. Ajá. Ok. Pero este es ley, así. Ley, ley. Pero ya en el ING es lying. Ok, bien. Ese ya es bonus, extra. Vamos, vamos a ver. Lo van a ver más adelante, ok. Lo van a ver más adelante. Así que no se preocupe. Ahorita lo que hemos visto son las reglas generales, ¿sí? Las reglas más comunes y que debemos conocer a esta altura, ¿sí? Bien, ¿qué más vimos en esta unidad? Bueno, vimos algo sumamente importante que eran WH question words uh, and um, the grammar structure with the present continuous, right? We use the grammar, I mean, we use the WH questions to ask for any event in the future or things that are happening right now. For example, what are you doing, right? What are you doing? So we saw that. So let's read these examples. Tenemos acá con doble VH? No, ¿verdad? No tenemos con doble VH, ¿sí? En estos tres que tenemos acá, so, esas no son de información, ¿ok? Esas no son de información. Y las podemos contestar. ¿Cómo? A ver, ¿cómo podemos contestar estas? ¿Con respuestas? Cortas. Cortas. Hello, Debra. Small, small answer. Hi, teacher. Eh, short uh, answers. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh, estaba viendo acá en el diccionario, teacher, de que, bueno, like que lo puso L, I, L, L, I, I, I de que está como tender y también está como mentiroso. La exactly. misma palabra significa lo mismo, pero o sea, para diferenciar cuando uno esté dirigiendo hacia algo así, lo dirigiría al contexto que uno está hablando con la persona. Correct. Ahí solo con el contexto, exactamente. El contexto, ah. así como decimos echa para cabos o echamos a alguien de aquí, ¿verdad? O sea, <risa> o viene para adentro o va para afuera, e igual. Lai en unas va a decir mentir y en las otras va a ser como recostar o poner algo encima de algo, ¿verdad? Ok, teacher, thank you. All right, there you go. Ok, people, estas son preguntas de respuestas cortas, ¿ok? Short answers. Which are the short answers? Ok, they are. Ajá. Uh -huh. They are with the verb be, okay? They are with the verb be. Are you checking your email tomorrow? Are you checking your email tomorrow? Yes. Yes, yes I, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right. Yes, yes, Por qué? Porque si tenemos el verbo be y seguimos la regla del verbo be en el presente continuo, okay? Yes. Entonces sería, yes, I am. All right? Yes, I am. Okay. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Is Mary going to the doctor after work? Is Mary going to the doctor after work? Yes. Yes. She she is. Is. All right. Mm -hmm. Are they offering special discounts on Christmas? Yes. Are they offering special discounts on Christmas? Yes, they are. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Okay, yes, they are. Good. Mm -hmm. So this is the way to answer in the affirmative way. 
If we want to answer in a negative way, we just say, no, they aren't, right? No, no. she isn't. Yes, I'm sorry, no, I'm no, not. I'm not. Okay, no, I'm not. All right, let's look at these other questions. What are you doing? What are you doing? Deborah, what are you doing? The listen the class. Okay, bye. ¿Cómo vamos a armar las respuestas? Vamos a ver. Ordenemos la idea con sujeto, verbo y complemento. Es una oración completa. WH, ¿verdad? I am listening. Listening in the class. To, listening to. Listening to the class. All right. There you are. Yes, Deborah. There you are. What are you doing, Deborah? I am listening to the class. Very good. Isabel, what are you doing right now? Hello. I see. Yes, now we can hear you. Mm -hmm. uh, repeat, por favor. What are you doing? Sería la misma respuesta. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, am I am listening to the class. Exactly. I am listening to the class. Estoy escuchando la clase, ¿verdad? I am listening to the class. Very good. Thank you very much, Isabel. Um, Helen, what are you doing? I am listening to class. To the class. The class. Great, Helen. Rosa Estela, what are you doing? I'm listening to the class. Very good. Fernando Noel, what are you doing? I am listening to the class. Very good. I thought you were going to say, I'm thinking on my dinner. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh -huh, I'm thinking about my dinner. <laughs> Hello, Alma. What are you doing? I am listening to the class. Very good. <laughs> Very good, Alma. Okay. So, hablemos de Ryan. ¿eh? El Ryan. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué está haciendo el Ryan? Bueno, no. Vamos a preguntar, when is Ryan coming back? Uh -huh. When is Ryan coming back? He, he, is, he is coming back tomorrow, for example, teacher. Mm -hmm. He is coming back tomorrow. Great. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Of course. Uh-huh. So when is Ryan coming back? He, he is, is coming mm -hmm. back tomorrow. Tomorrow. Great. Okay. Why are you handing the checks? Imagínense que está una persona que no es el que usualmente le entrega los cheques. Why are you handing the checks? ¿Cómo respondemos el why? Because. Because. Mm -hmm. because. Because. Because he's the uh, responsibilities. No, why are you? Why are you? Uh, with because I, I have uh, other diligences. Uh, but why are you? Why are you handing the checks? No, it's because I assigned today the handing the check. Because I'm assigned to Sign. it. All right. I'm assigned to it. All right. Hey, me salió ahí el. Okay. Ah, all right. So here. Because I'm. All right, uh -huh. assigned to it. Very good, mm -hmm. it's a very good answer. So people, when we have WH question words, we use the 
the word with the WH or question word after, I mean, plus the B verb, plus the subject, plus the ING verb form. And also we can use any other complement, but remember to add the correct intonation. And if you are writing it, then you have to add the question mark. Okay, remember that. Okay, people. We saw some time expressions about the temporary situations, remember? The temporary situations yesterday, Teacher. these days. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I have a question, the WH question. Mm -hmm. Which say is, I, I don't know if I understand it. Is the WH question plus uh, verb B? Mm -hmm. Plus subject mm -hmm. plus component is plus the way... ing perform. Okay, the the up ing performs. Uh huh. Plus the complement. Plus the complement. It is is always structure is. Yes. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Always Change. is this a structure for the wh words. I mean the w w h questions. Question. With okay. the direct questions, we just eliminate right eliminate the wh mm -hmm. at the beginning and you start with the b verb all right okay, you start sure. with the b verb okay people so the objective today to practice is that you are going to talk about activities in context using the present continuous tense okay this is our objective tonight so we have Mm, the ING perform feedback. We did it already. Now we want to see the affirmative and negative present continuous, but we want to have a game online, okay? We will have a game online with the WH questions. And then we are going to have a reading activity in our page number 34 of our manuals. Remember that we want to write a paragraph or an email in this case, okay? We want to write an email and also we want to write a paragraph. The session one on one today is for the uh, the one with the number fifteen in our list. Okay, there we go. I am dis dictating some negative and a affirmative sentences. Okay, vamos a dictar ahorita unas oraciones. Okay. Ustedes las van a escribir ahí en su cuaderno. Okay. Y después vamos a pasar a que las escriban aquí a la pizarra, ¿ok? Solo permítanme, creo que podemos hacer un feedback antes del dictado, ¿ok? Creo que podemos hacer un feedback. Déjenme ir. Okay. Uh, nos vamos así con patada al pecho sin, sin, un, sin un feedback, ¿sí? Démosle, a ver, probémonos, ¿sí? Probémonos a ver cómo estamos, ¿sí? Fuertes, strong guys. There you go. Uh -huh. Todos. Breath in, breath out. Uh -huh. Warming up, warming up, everybody, warming up. There we go. So, you ready? Are you ready? Number one. Bye. La voy a repetir dos veces, ¿ok? Solo dos veces la voy a dictar. Eh, no vayan a estar... Ay, ¿Cómo dijo, teacher? No, no. Esperemos a terminar toda la oración, ¿ok? Las palabras que capten. No importa que si no captó tres antes, usted sigue escribiendo las demás que sí capta, ¿ok? Vaya, vamos a ver. No se va, no va a decir, ay, es que en la primera me quedé y ya no escribí nada. No, usted siga y la que oyó es escribir. Ok, va, vamos a ver entonces. Number one. Number one. The employees aren't sitting at computers every day. The employees aren't sitting at computers every day.
Number two. How often do you celebrate birthdays in your workplace? How often do you celebrate birthdays in your workplace? Number three. Are you getting out the office these days? Are you getting out the office these days? Number four. Mike is organizing a very funny activity. Number five. Teacher, you say last one in <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Okay, yeah, thank you. Mike is organizing a very funny activity. Number five. Okay, better. Number five. This is long, ¿ok? Esta es larga, ¿sí? Así que la voy a decir en dos partes. All right? Va, va la primera parte. We aren't celebrating birthdays this month. Voy a repetir esa primera parte. We aren't celebrating birthdays this month coma va la segunda parte due to the pandemic due to the pandemic Ok, hacemos un barrido, un barrido de todas, ¿sí? Vale, voy a decirlas todas, pero así seguidas, ¿ok? Así seguiditas, vamos. ¿Cómo van? ¿Cómo van? ¿Cómo se sienten? Poderosas, ahorita, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo vamos? Quiero ver sonrisas, no los quiero ver. Así no, así, de ¿eh? Felices, happy. Ajá. We are lost in teacher in the dictate, but I happy. Okay, very good, very good. Uh huh. How are you doing, Carlos? Carlos Edgardo? Good? Perdido. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well. Lost in my mind. <laughs> okay, Fern uh, Fernando Enrique is still on his way. All right, uh huh. Vamos a ver. Y hoy no está. Eh... Ronaldo, ¿verdad? Ah, él se hubiera divertido mucho. <ríe> bueno, vamos a ver entonces. ¿Mm? 
Vamos a hacer un barrido de todas y ustedes le ponen ahí saborcito y coco y le van poniendo las que les faltan, ¿sí? Bye. Vamos a ver. <clears throat> Number one. The employees aren't sitting at computers every day. Number two. How often do you celebrate birthdays in your workplace? Number three. Are you getting out the office these days? Number four. Mike is organizing a very funny activity. Number five, we aren't celebrating birthdays this month due to the pandemic. You guys ready? Who wants to come to the board first? Who wants to come to the board first? Yo creo que se trabó el Zoom porque no oigo a nadie que diga, yo, tiche. Creo que se trabó el Zoom. Todo yo a la misma you. vez le hicieron. You, <laughs> OK, there you go. Vaya, no, agarremos lo chévere, ¿verdad? Esto es emocionante. Vamos a ver. ¿Mm? So, number one. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿quién va a pasar a escribir el number one? Yo. Ok, Alma. Eh, ¿Lo puede escribir así con, con texto? No. ¿No? Ok. No, creo que no. A ver, le vamos a prestar el, el mouse, ¿sí? O oh, está en teléfono ahorita. En teléfono. Ah, va, entonces dele con el lapicito. Ay, teacher, no voy a poder. <risa> <risa> ah, va, entonces sí, sí. en el chat, va, va. Okay. Si quiere, póngale ah, okay. en el chat y yo le doy copiar y pegar, va. Ok. Ajá. Ahorita. Ahora. Wow, uh huh? Let's look at this. Uh, mm -hmm. Ajá. A ver, ¿estamos correctos? ¿Están de acuerdo ustedes? No, teacher. Yes, teacher. The verb uh, change drop letter I and not E. Is sitting, teacher, or sitting? Sitting. Sitting, like you are right now. 
Seating is correct. With, with, with two T. Which one? Con dos tés. Yes, double T, because remember, the verb is sit. So, consonant, vowel, consonant. So, we have to double the last consonant. Sitting, right? Mm -hmm. Double T. I confuse is is setting. Oh, so you wrote it's setting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that okay, will be yeah. setting up. All right? Setting up, nor at. Mm -hmm. Right? Can you write it, Saul? On the chat? Okay, teacher. I write. <laughs> okay, and every day, every day, not days, right? Every day. Hmm? And remember the full stop, right? Capitalize and full stop. There you are. The employees are in sitting on computers every day. Yes, Alma, you did it. Only for the S at the end, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Who wants to do the next one? Y veamos la que nos escribió Saúl ahí. Ah, no nos la ha enviado Saúl. Ahorita, teacher. Siempre la, la número uno, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yo lo es. I am listening to this. El boy are in setting that. Ah, ok, pero tiene sentido la suya, Saúl. Tiene sentido. Ajá, ok. Ahí sí. Ajá. Ok, veamos, Carlos Edgardo nos mandó la siguiente y Rosa Estela también nos mandó la siguiente. Muy bien, muy bien. ¿Qué le falta, chicos? How often do you in your workplace? Ajá. Places. This. Yes. Right. Question mark. Yes. Ah, question. Yes. If you don't have the question mark, then it is not a question. Okay. But very good. Very good. You got all the words. Yes. I'm so happy tonight. Okay. Let's look at the number three. Number three. Who's got it? Mm -hmm. Aha, very good, Rosa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we are. All right, yes. Mm -hmm. Getting out the office. Podría ser of the office, pero sabiendo office, así como yo lo dicté, okay? Vamos a ver, next. ¿Alguien la tiene? Next. Mike is... That will is not a question. Very good, my is, uh-huh. Good, Alma. Good, Rosa. Good, Carlos. Well done, uh-huh. Okay. Then we have Samuel, yours. Where is yours? There you are. Mm -hmm. Vaya, vamos a ver cómo oyó Samuel. Ajá. Todos los demás oyeron otra, ¿verdad? Otra, otra palabra. ¿Cuál palabra oyeron acá? Funny. 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 Ajá. Fancy suena bien British. Aquí, ¿verdad? Fancy suena así como bien British. Pero sería funny. Así, mire. Funny y acordémonos siempre de poner el period. Okay, capitalizing and the period. All right, next one.
Okay, Carlos. Okay, Rosa. Okay. Mm -hmm. We aren't celebrating birthdays. Birthdays. Okay. Birthdays this month due to the pandemic. Yes, right? Yes, we aren't celebrating birthdays this month due to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Mm -hmm. Solo esa. <laughs> es que hice una sala. Only five, teacher. Only five. Yo me caí. Sando, fíjense, yo dije, ¿cuál era la otra? Sí, me exprimí y nada. <laughs> yes, esta era la más larga, es cierto. Es que hice una tabla más larga cuando la metí, miren, me acabo de meter ahí con seis. Bueno, vamos a ver. Is there any questions so far about this uh, activity, the dictation? A ver, ¿cómo se sienten? ¿Cómo se sienten? Poderosos, teacher. Uh -huh. em <laughs> Empowered. <laughs> Ajá. No, a ver. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Decepcionado, teacher. ¿Por qué? Mucho... Cuénteme, cuénteme. Es que yo las copié, pero muchas palabras, este, algunas sí las sabía, otras las puse mal escritas. Solamente en donde dice Mike is organizing, pero todavía me faltó ponerle in. Y estaba pensando ahorita porque organizing. Sí terminaba con I ING, entonces yo... Y solo puse My Organize a very funny, le puse con, con la letra A. Con la letra A, <ríe> ok, ok. Activity, o sea, solo fueron errores. Y algunas... hay, que hacer, hay que hacer más ejercicios de dictado, ¿verdad? Hay que hacer más ejercicios de dictado, chicos, sí. Va, entonces la evaluación final va a ser dictado, ¿ok? <ríe> y todo así. ¿Qué dice este? <ríe> No, vale, pero sí se divierte uno y al mismo tiempo vemos las deficiencias, ¿ok? La deficiencia lo único que le indica a Débora y a todos es que aparte de que uno se siente así como, ¡ala! Vea, la regué. Eso hay que dejarlo a un lado, sí. Hay que dejarlo a un lado, es decir, cambiar ese sentimiento y ponerlo como, no, bueno, no lo hice hoy, pero me voy a proponer que me voy a proponer, por lo menos estas que ya las oí, a copiarlas y a repetirlas, repetirlas, para que después no se le vayan a, a volver a, para que no vaya a volver a tener el mismo error, ¿verdad? Ok, people, vamos a hacer entonces esta otra actividad, ¿sí? Nuestra actividad del de libro. Esto está on page number 34. This is a reading activity, ¿ok? Vamos a leer escuchando, ¿sí? We are going to read along. Read along significa que usted va a escuchar y va a ir leyendo con la vista, ¿sí? Y después vamos a hacer lo que siempre hacemos, leerlo nosotros, ¿verdad? Bueno, let's play the audio. Let's roll, right? Just one second. The audio, 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 here it is. Ok. Pongan atención porque esto no tiene título, ¿verdad? Escuchemos entonces si hay título en la eh, en el audio, ¿ok? okay. Activities to keep your employees happy. Number one, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Number two, celebrate birthdays. 
You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Number 3. Paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to laugh off some team by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be the prime target. Number 4. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up in a board and get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, light-hearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay, people. Mm -hmm. Let's read it together now. Okay, let's read it together. Who wants to, to read first? Who wants to read first? Number one. Who wants to read okay. number one? Mm -hmm. I can't sure. Okay, please go ahead, so. Okay, number one. The number one. Organize yoga class. Classes. If you, classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't understand, 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 underestimate, underestimate the impact yoga call have on their attitude on outlook. Yoga can help alle alleviate, stress. alleviate, alleviate, alleviate stress. Call the mind, call the mind, release tension. Improve brain function and lift mood. What boss would won't wouldn't wouldn't want those outcomes 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 outcomes. Mm -hmm. Okay, who wants to read number two? Yes, teacher. All right, please, Deborah, go ahead. Celebrate beer days. You don't just have to really um, rely to, to rely 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 in on business gains to boost morale. Simply, uh, how do you say, teacher? Okay, vamos leyendo la por partes. Ac no legging. Acknowledging. Acknowledging. Legging. A special occasion can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get every job to sink a car, have cake on once a month or simply buy them around of coffees each team so someone so long in your team as a birthday okay thank you very much who wants to read the next part number three yeah okay fernando please go ahead Paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to laugh off some team by organizing a day of paintball. Sample getting out of the office can work wonder for staff moral. Morale. Morale. Watch out though. Watch out though. Watch out, though. Watch out, though. As the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Very good. This is simply. Look, simply okay. getting. Simply. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
All right. Who wants to read number four? Yeah, teacher. Okay, please, Rosa. Go ahead. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves themselves and put them all up on a bar and then put them all yeah. up put them up. all up put Hope. them all put up them, put them all up on a bar and then get get everyone every john every john everyone everyone ah everyone everyone to put their best guess forward on each one it's a bit of easy light hearty fun that will definitely help lift, lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along humor the way. humor 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 along the way very good esta palabra es guesses Oh, guesses. Guess. Ajá, porque es plural, ¿verdad? De adivinar. O, sí, adivinar. Entonces, mmm, guess, guesses. A yes. ver, eh, la otra era lighthearted. 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 Hearted. Si la pronuncia la T, hearted. Hearted. Lighthearted. Uh, uh -huh. Lighthearted. Mm -hmm. And the other was mm, themselves. 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 Mm -hmm. Themselves. Ajá. Pero como aquí ya estamos uniendo con and, ¿verdad? Themselves and. Themselves and. Themselves and. Right. Themselves and. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, people, let's move and let's go to the breakout rooms. In the breakout rooms, we are going to read. Necesitamos que practiquen la lectura, ¿sí? La vamos a practicar de una manera eh, lo más apegada posible, ¿ok? Entonces, a la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Entre ustedes se van corrigiendo, ¿sí? Se van corrigiendo, se van diciendo, pero eso sí, no vayan a leer de la manera así como, eh, 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 eh. no, vamos a leerlo con fluidez, Get every, hasta llegar a... Voy a regresar ahí para, para moverme en esa parte, ¿sí? Vamos, acuérdense cómo leemos, ¿sí? ¿Cómo leemos? Leemos, ay, perdón. Leemos de un solo aire cada idea, ¿verdad? Entonces, hasta llegar al signo de puntuación más cercano, dejamos... De, de ir uniendo palabras. Por ejemplo, ¿dónde está el punto más cercano? Aquí. O en la puntuación más cercana está aquí, coma, right? Entonces yo tengo que leer desde acá. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, tomo aire, ¿sí? Así. No vamos a ir work, mm, que no sé, ¿verdad? An office, no. Vamos a ir leyéndolo con sentido. Okay. La idea es tomar el sentido y llegar a la siguiente puntuación, ¿sí? Para poder ir entendiendo ideas completas. Ok, vamos a ver entonces. Are you ready, guys? Solo déjenme ver si este audio está por acá. Nunca lo he puesto, pero... No, y que está, pues está porque lo tengo ahí en el power, pero no lo encuentro, sí. Vale, entonces voy a pasarles la lectura, ¿sí? Bueno, ya la tienen en la página 34, pero igual les vamos a pasar esto.
chicos de, de soporte que tengo por acá, ok, I would like to report a problem. <risa> sí. eh, necesito, a ver, a ver, ayuda por ahí. Eh, quisiera poder ver el nombre de ese audio que tengo pegado a, esta, a este slide. Cuando yo lo puse, no recuerdo el nombre del audio para poder encontrarlo y mandárselos por separado. Para que ustedes lo puedan escuchar, ¿verdad? Porque obviamente así en, en este no se los puedo mandar. Ah, ya sé qué voy a hacer. No, hombre, perdón, perdón. Pero si tienen una idea de cómo ver eso, díganme, por favor. ¿Ok? A ver, ahorita vamos a poner aquí. <risas> no, hombre, si es que la Carmen a veces le funciona. A ver. <risas> vaya, le vamos a poner así, presentación 1. Vaya, vamos a ver si... Me lo agarra de... Ah. Bye. Así para que lo tengan. Entonces se los voy a mandar en el Power. Para los que lo puedan descargar en el Power, ahí va. ¿Sí? para que tengan el audio ahí. Ponen el audio y, se y ya pueden ir leyendo junto con el audio, ¿verdad? Vale. Vamos a ver entonces. ¿Estamos listos? Sí, capitán, estamos listos. Yes, captain, we're ready. ¿Cuántos oyentes tengo? Vamos a ver. Tengo one, two, three... Uh, four, right? There you are, people. Please join your rooms. Alma, please join your room. No puedo, teacher. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasó? No sé, no me aparece aquí nada para, para, para irme. Mire abajo donde dice sala de grupos pequeños. Son un grupo Marta Alicia, are you there? Vamos a ver. Vamos a compartir. Vamos a hacer. Ah, bueno. Vamos a ver. Activities to keep your employees happy. Uy, permítame. ¿Se escuchaba? Se escucha. Sí, se escucha. Sí, sí, sí. Oh, Ahí te lo voy a poner otra vez. Activities to keep your employees happy. Number one, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind,
-huh. Impact yoga uh -huh. could have under actitude and outlook. outlook. Yoga can help ale, ale bird. No, ale bird. Can help a live. No. No, yes. me acuerdo yes, yes. it. Yes, yes. I live it. 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 I live Okay. Outcomes, 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 outcomes. Teacher, how do outcomes. how do you pronounce under underestimate and underestimate 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 underestimate? Okay, Helen, your turn. The power of one. Okay, uh, number one. Organize yoga classes. Imagen. Activities to keep your employees happy. Number one, Hola. Tienen la imagen por ahí este, leyendo a. No puede ver mi pantalla. Mm, no, yo sí la tengo. Tengo la imagen para ir este, viendo eh, la imagen y escuchando el audio. No, pero yo estoy compartiendo pantalla. No la puedes ver. ¿Cómo no? No, yo no la veo. Ah, la imagen no, solo el audio se escucha. Uh -huh. La imagen no la ven. No, no. it's all black. Uh -huh. Pero yo creo que está en la opción, ¿verdad? There I am, yes. <risa> <risa> Ahora sí. Ay, sí. Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. Activities to keep your employees happy. Number one, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. Samuel, three. Bye. Teacher. Hello. Uh, nos hemos agarrado eh, cada uno, eh, cada tema, porque si nos ponemos a practicar todo, no vamos a terminar. O sea, por si usted en clase nos pregunta, eh, yo me he agarrado, supongamos, el 4, Carlos el 1 y Débora el 2, y así sucesivamente para practicarlo bien, aunque sea un párrafo. Sí, está bien. Yes, it's a good idea. But the idea is to get everything, right? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Continue, continue. If okay. it works for you, it's okay. If it works for you, it is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. There you go. Activities to keep your employees happy. Number
if you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day. Number one, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, organize your okay. class. Okay. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computer every day. Mm -hmm. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computer every day. Steam. Teacher, hello. It's just in the time. I have a question. How do you pronounce in the paragraph number three? Uh -huh. um, the line number two. Some steam. Yeah, like that. Some steam. Uh -huh. Some steam. Um, okay. Thank you, uh, actually, it is stem. Stem. Uh, just give me one second. Stem, 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 stem. I don't see it. S T I M M. It. Exactly, but I closed this thing. Oh yes, because I had to close it to close it because I was sending it right. Okay, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Where exactly? The third part. I third changed. Paragraph. I shared the image. Oh, did you? All oh, right. Is the number three? Okay. Some steam. Some steam. Some, mm -hmm. some steam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some steam. Okay, teacher. Some hey, steam. Ready. Continue. Some steam. Mm -hmm. Be organizing a day of paper. Simply getting off the of the office can be wonder for some moral. Watch of do as the ball. You are you're going to the to be prime taker. Mm -hmm. Your turn, Helen. Helen, te estaba leyendo. No escuché. <laughs> no. Bien, perdón. Painful. Give your employees an opportunity to lead off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Wash all thou as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. The pronunciation correctly is watch out through, throw. What is through? Through, through. Just give me one, one, one moment because I'm doing something really, really. I'm, I'm doing okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Now allow me just to see what you are reading. Is ah, the... watch it through? No, no, no. Okay. It says watch a doe. Watch out, doe. Watch out, though. Watch out, though. Ajá. Though, en este caso, quiere decir, hey, pero tené cuidado, ¿verdad? Porque, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, eh, sin embargo, ten cuidado. Yeah. Sin embargo, ese though sería como un sin embargo. Uh, ok, teacher. <laughs> ok, ok. Ok, uh -huh. okay it's my turn, the paragraph number four. Now Luz. you got it. Now you got this is a joke. All right, this is a joke at the end, so it's funny, that, that phrase. It says, watch out, though, at, as the boss, you're going to be 
a prime target. Everybody's going to hit you or shoot you, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It goes, goes, who? Goes, who? Okay. Guess. 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 Mm -hmm. Guess. Guess. Guess who? Mm -hmm. At, ask everyone to build on childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a big bit of easy, light-hearted fun that will definitely help live spirit, spirit, spirit while offering plenty of Homer along the way. Homer, Homer, Homer. How do you say pronounce, teacher? Homer. Es que, uh, es que piense que le voy a decir lo que me está pasando. Que sí. logré encontrar cómo pasarles el audio. Entonces, ahorita se los pasé el audio en el WhatsApp. Ok. Le pasé. Sí, estaba sí, sí. con ese pendiente porque ustedes son el único grupo que no están usando el audio. Entonces, ahorita se los mandé ahí en el WhatsApp. A ver, y está bien chiquitito, entonces me cuesta un poquito verlo, pero ahorita voy a ver. Sí, um, no problem. Uh, sería en... In... Guess who, right? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo, photo of themselves and put them, all up, put them all up on the board and then get everyone to put their best guesses. Uh, ¿Cuál era la palabra que me decía? Of Homer in... La última línea. Humor. 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 Ajá. Humor. Llena de humor, ¿verdad? De, de risa, pues, de, de buen chiste. Humor. Sí. Uh -huh. Humor. And how do you pronounce, teacher, the line number two, the paragraph number four? Themselves. 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 Uh -huh. themselves. 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 Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher, is no problem. <laughs> it's okay. Sí, se, ve, se ve bien pequeño, pero es la resolución de la imagen, creo que tomé cuando usted le envió. No problem. It's okay. No problem. I have another pair of glasses. <laughs> okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, it's turn of Gabriela. They read the paragraph number four. Guess. Guess who? Guess who? Por ahí tienen a Marta Alicia también. No sé si Marta Alicia está sí. disponible. ¿Va a querer leer Marta Alicia? Perdón, Gabriela. Solo quería no, confirmar no. que estaba Marta Alicia ahí. Yes, teacher. Ok. Vaya, chicos. Ahí les queda Marta Alicia y ella va a estar trabajando con ustedes, ¿ok? Ok, continue, Gabriela. I'm sorry. Guess who? As everyone. Bueno, bueno, simple uh, getting out of the office can you can work wonders for staff moral. We shout to out as the boss, you're going to be prime target. Okay. Ahí ahora Isabel, vamos a poner el audio para que lo lea. Se me pierde el mouse. Activities to keep your employees. So, as the boss, you're going to be the prime target. Number four. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up in a board and get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, light-hearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay, Isabel. Como que mi párrafo está un poco difícil. Usted empieza. Sí, está. 
Um, ni sé por dónde empezar. Que... Guess who? Guess who? As everyone. Así dijo, ¿verdad? Everyone. Every, everyone. To As bring, everyone. To bring Shelton from us. O childhood. Charlo. No, childhood. Charhoop. No, me. Así. <laughs> Charhoop. Pon os eh, Trenself. Uh -huh. Esa palabra. Esa. Trenself. Trenself. En pool. En pool de. Charhoop. Gracias, Ticha. Pon os del self and prove they are up and our board and they hate everyone to prove their this case for yes. for grants on H H1 it's a big of a easing like her her day they will define define definitely de como teacher definitely 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 her her live spirit um will the oster Ostering play of women a lot day one. Wait. They wait. Wait. Sí, está un poco difícil. Sí. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a cheerful photo of themselves and put them all up, uh, up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one is each one it's a bit of easy like harder found that will definitely definitely help lead spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way humor humor no problem. This is why we are here. Para eso estamos acá, para que lo vayamos como refinando, ¿verdad? Aprendiendo. Las conocemos, pero a la hora de pronunciarlas, pues se nos confunde un poquito. Pero poco a poco ya no se nos van a confundir si las practicamos. ¿Ok? If we practice. But you're doing a very good job, guys. You're doing a very good job. Continue. Continue your practice. Uh -huh. Continue Aprovechando your que la teacher está acá, yo creo que deberíamos de que decirlo una vez cada uno todos y que la teacher nos corrija. Okay, <risa> okay repito ese párrafo porque es. Bueno, eh, que lo es... Orden. Ajá, empieza, que empiece Isabel ¿Sí? con su con su párrafo, después Samuel, luego yo y después Carlos. Okay. Dele, Isabel. Isabel. Ahí empieza con el párrafo 4. Ajá. Sí. Se pusieron un poco borrosas las letras. Ma, ah, espérame, Yo Ahí creo está. que son los nervios, Isabel. Sí, porque no hice nada. No, no, no. Mire, yo me tuve que hasta cambiar los lentes porque también ya en la lectura ya uh, yes. <ríe> más grande para tal vez me las hace no, más no. grandes. Le falla no, la vista es? convenientemente. Ah, no, pero es muy grande, sí. Sí, ahí sí no se ve. Ajá. Sí, sí. No, no, ok, no, no, vamos no, no, a ver, Isabel. Usted arránquese, dele. Toquemos la primera canción nosotros, Isabel. Dele. <ríe> Okay. Guess who asks everyone to bring a child, childhood? Childhood? From us, 
Childhood. 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 From us. La siguiente, teacher. Themselves. Themselves. And for they are up on our works and they had everyone to put their best guesses. For what on each one. Each, each one. Each one. Each each one is a bit of easy life. Easy life, verdad? Easy, coma. Lighthearted, fun. Lighthearted, fun. Fun. The fun. The queer. Definite. 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 Definitely. A ver, digámoslo juntas. Definitely. Definitely. Help lead the spirit mm, will while offering will offering play the of humor a humor the, humor a lot the way the way, mm -hmm. the way. along the way along the along way a lo largo way. del camino along the way mm -hmm. okay who who goes next Deborah. Samuel. Ah, oh, Samuel. Okay. Go ahead, Samuel. Well, Samuel. Fine, but give your employees and your opportunity to laugh off some stem be organized a dive of pine ball. Simply heading out of the office can work wonders for a stuff moral. Watch out thoughts as the boss you are going to be applying target. Ok. Solo que la letra G en inglés suena como G. G. Entonces, aunque vaya con una E, es getting. 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 Uh -huh. Sí, la palabra simply es así, simply. O simply. Yes, simply. 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 Uh -huh. okay. simply. Continue, okay. Debra. Yes, teacher. Um, celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to relay, re, rely on business games to pass moral. Simply acknowledging, letting, acknowledging a special occasion can help a big impact is show your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sync a card. To Have sign. A, to sign a card. Sign. To sign. To sign a card. Have cake once a month. Old or simply bouncing around of copies each thing so on each time each each time someone someone in your team as birthday as a birthday all right and the last one okay, okay. organize yoga classes if you, if you work in a, an office and your employees are sitting at computer every day, you don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss would want those outcomes? What boss wouldn't? Wouldn't want? Wouldn't. What mm -hmm. boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Very good job. All right, you did a very good job. Let's go back. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay.
everything is more clear. Sure. Hello. Okay, everybody's back. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. We are going to feel. Sure. Sorry, I have a question. You can, you can, you can say in the group you search in the audio in WhatsApp, but I don't say the audio. Don't you see the audio? No, teacher. <laughs> And chat group, I, I sent it to another one. Oh my goodness, you see. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. No, no, this one is. Uh -huh. So I have to go over here. I know everybody is looking at this, but this is important, guys. Okay. Oops. This is important. I will take this for you. Did All right. you? There you go. Leading teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the verb. <laughs> was I lying? Yeah, I was lying, but it was not it was not my will to do it. All right. It was not intentional. <laughs> all right. I sent it, but I don't know who. <laughs> okay. You got it over there, the audio. Okay, guys. So number one, let's say if it is true or if, or, or if it is false according to the reading. Okay, this is according to the reading. Number one, yoga has an important effect on employees. True. It's not true. Is it? True. True. Okay, so true. Like. Mm. Let's use this one will be better. Okay, true. Number two, yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. False. It is false. Okay. False. Why? What does it say in the reading? But I see calm the mind. Yes. Okay. But I just calm the mind. Number three, guys. Based on the reading, special locations are not important. Is false. What do you think, but, guys? But this is important. Okay, it says yeah. it is important. Okay, so it is false according to the reading, right? Based on the reading. Number four, workers can play paintball inside the office. <laughs> can you play paintball inside the office? Yeah. No way, right? False. Imagine playing paintball in your office. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. okay. <laughs> Childhood photos can offend employees. What do you think? You find our child for of the Mm, true or it's false? Ask everyone to buy my child for of themselves and put them all up one award. And they give everyone to their best guess. Mm -hmm. I think if they if they do it voluntarily, I think they don't they don't have to get offended, right? Uh huh. But if you force them to do it, maybe. You force them. If he, if they don't want to participate and you force them, then maybe. But childhood photos, I don't think that will be offended. What do you think, guys? What do you think? It's true. True? <laughs> will you get offended, true. Rosa? Yes. <laughs> oh, so that's the reason she will get offended. <laughs> Why? How come? <laughs> Fernando, what do you think? Fernando Enrique, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, both Fernandos, <laughs> but Sir Fernando Enrique. What do you think? Childhood photos can offend employees? True. True? True. Uh, okay, well, uh huh. What do you think, Fernando Noel? I don't know, teacher. I eh, no sé qué significa childhood. Childhood, de, de niñitos, de la niñez. Childhood significa niñez. 
como fotografías de la infancia. ¿no? Exacto, ah. Fotos de chiquito decimos nosotros. No, no. False. False. But it's not often, teacher. I, I seen it's embarrassing, but not often. <laughs> embarrassing, embarrassing. Yeah, it is embarrassing. Ajá. Es que las fotos de chiquitos de algunos vergonzosos. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but that's with intentionally, right? Intentionally. La niña en una pila y sin ropa. En aguacal. En aguacal, you over there, like. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, mm, I don't know. I don't think you will get offended. I think you will, you, this will be with, taken with a humor, uh, uh, yeah, tonic, right? It's not going to be so offensive unless you are forced to do that, right? If you are forced or they discover a photo of you and they uh, publish it or they post it, then I think you will be offended. But if you voluntarily take them, take your photos over there and put them on the board, I don't think you will get offended. But that's my opinion. That's my opinion. And according to the reading, is relative uh, t-shirt and though based on the reading and... basados en la lectura a ver qué dice la lectura de eso será que la, las fotos de la niñez o de niñitos eh, ofenden a los empleados no no dice nada, ¿verdad? Al contrario, dice que levante el espíritu y levanta la moral, right? Ajá. Humor. Y, y en toda la actividad es una matadera de risa, ¿verdad? Porque dice humor, right? Ajá. Ok, ¿qué le ponemos? ¿False or true? False. False. True. <laughs> you still, false. ok, true. No, it is false. No, All right, no, then. La <laughs> en la lectura? Uh -huh. according, according to reading, no. According to reading, it's not mm -hmm. going to be that uh, you will be offended. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are going to make humor of you, but <laughs> just that. They will mug on you, right? Just that. <laughs> be prepared if you are the boss too, right? <laughs> okay, people. Excuse me, Carlos Edgardo. Everyone sending photos. <laughs> ah, yes, everyone right now showing your childhood photos. <laughs> okay, guys, so we'll clear all drawings and let's go to the next page in our manuals. In our manuals, we have um, these, this part, okay? This is the WH questions. Remember, WH word plus the B plus subject plus their uh, plus ING. Okay. Plus the complement, plus the question mark. What, when, everybody? What, when, what, where, where, why, why, why which, which, who, which, how. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, all the, most of the um, questions with why will be answered with because, okay? So why is he meeting the new people today? Why is he meeting the new people today? Because something, something, right? When is the new office launching? When is the new office launching? It is launching on, and then we say the date, right? Because we are talking about when. Where is your boss having the annual meeting? Ah, it's a place, right? In the great room, in the auditorium, in San Salvador, in the United States. So any place, right? Any place. Now I know who I sent the audio because they they replied. What is this? Okay. Number one, it says, what company are you working for? Number two. How, How is he, he driving? Dividing? The groups. Ah, divide. Who is? Who is? Let me give him a blank question. Oh, sorry. Oh, sure. Wait. Sure. Mm. Don't speak Spanish, blank. speak in English. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is white. <laughs> no, it is blank. It got blank. 
All right. So the All right. Okay. 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 Dividing. Mm -hmm. How do we spell that? Divide. I N G. Right. Dividing. Number three. When is she handing? Mm -hmm. When is she handing the checks? When is she handing the checks? Estamos diciendo quién está entregando, ¿eh? o, cuan, o perdón, cuándo estará entregando los cheques. When is she handing? Handing. Tomorrow, teacher. Yes, tomorrow. We <laughs> hope, hope everybody crossing your fingers. Number four. <laughs> Which property is your boss visiting? Is your boss visiting? Is your boss visiting? Okay. Is your boss visiting? I can pass in my mind. I can uh, get over it that I didn't send the, the audio to you guys. Oh, my goodness. Number five. Why is the new secretary working the next Saturday? Why is the new secretary working the next Saturday? Okay, there you are. Mm -hmm. So, is there any question about the questions with the WH words? Are we okay? It's okay, yes. sure. Okay, I will clear our drawings. And we want to move just a little right here. Okay, we finished on the 37th. Uh -huh. And now we're going to do this paragraph, but we're going to change the activity, okay? Is that activity, but we will change it just, just a little while, uh, just a little bit, all right, all right? Just a little bit. We want to write an email, all right? We want to write an email. I will show an email, okay? I will show an email. This is the email. Okay. And let's look at the elements, okay? The elements that an email has. This is a formal email, okay? It's okay. a formal email. So it means that you have to have the correct element. Let's look at the sender, right? The sender and then the receiver, right? The receiver. Mm -hmm. the receiver. Mm -hmm. so Carlos the, that Perez at FIAs, right? Does it say FIAs? FIAs. K F I F I A E S that or that S V. Okay, and then we have a subject, right? Subject. El asunto. El asunto debe ser es así lo más eh, resumido posible, pero obviamente tiene que decir lo que yo estoy poniendo, ¿verdad? En mi email. Entonces pongo mi subject. Veamos este subject. Schedule events for this and next week. De eso se trata el email. Ustedes van a escribir un email igual, ¿ok? Eso les queda en su, eh, en la plataforma, ¿ok? Y vemos que tiene una salutation, ¿ok? Salutation. Salutation is... Uh, Salud. Exactly, Salud. but with the greeting, right? With the title, um, the addressing, ¿ok? You are addressing the message okay who this is who is this message for okay so dear mr perez mr with respect okay dear significa estimado okay mm -hmm. we need to write dear dear mr perez y ponerle su job position verdad sales team one manager okay let's read 
Esta palabra regarding es una palabra que todos debemos conocer. Regarding es con respecto a, ¿ok? Con respecto de, con respecto a. Siempre que ponemos regarding, lo que sigue es que ya los dos conocíamos, ¿sí? Tanto él como yo. Entonces, regarding the information you need, ah, quiere decir que me solicitó esa información, ¿verdad? Regarding the information you need, these are the activities for this and next month. Uh, next week, I'm sorry. I suggest to mark your agenda. We are hiring new staff on the center from the 12th to the 15th. And those who pass the test, the tests are having a training in January 2023 for two weeks. My team is reporting sales results on December the 30th. At the moment, we are organizing two big sales events to get the gold on time. The customer service team are sending the VIP invitation and are checking in the VIP client. Is your team preparing the results presentation? Where is the presentation taking place? When is your team meeting? Is customer service sending the invitations to your clients? Okay. Y luego tenemos esta frase. Esta es la despedida, the dismissal, dismissal. It's very important in a formal email, okay? You have to write, looking forward for your feedback, okay? Looking forward for your feedback. También, después de looking forward, Cualquier verbo que vayamos a poner acá iría con ing, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, looking forward, hearing you, ¿ok? Hearing of you or hearing for your answer, ¿verdad? Con ing, ¿ok? Y luego, pues, su firma, ¿ok? The signature. Mrs. Beteta, Sales Team 3, Manager. Ok, then. Vamos a ver entonces. Is there any question about the email? Teacher. Um, tell me, tell me. Pues yo, yo entendí que vamos a hacer esa actividad en la plataforma. Exactly. Uh -huh. De hacer un correo igual a ese que nos acaba de proyectar. ¿cierto? Exactly. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Es que hay cosas que todavía no le entiendo cuando hablo en inglés. <risa> <risa> ¿Cómo qué? A ver, dígame para que estemos cabales. A ver. Todo, teacher. <risa> <risa> no, güey. That is not no, possible. Sorry, no. Uh -huh. Es que entiendo muy bien porque estaba o sea, va mostrando, pero igual hay cosas que incorporan la conversación que me deja perdida ya en Saturno. <risa> ok, pero es que con que entienda lo que llevamos en la clase, creo que no hay ningún problema, ¿sí? Ahí les mando otro ejemplo en la plataforma, ok, vale, me voy a poner por acá. I will send another, well, I sent another example of an email, and remember all the elements, remember all the elements, ok. Miren, acá les envié en la actividad, ¿sí? Que ustedes van a escribir un email, ¿verdad? De esta manera. O sea que váyanse a su email, ¿sí? Váyanse a su email y le ponen compose o le ponen, ¿cómo se cómo dice en español? Solo un más tiene, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok. Entonces, usted le da ahí como que me va a mandar un email y agarra esa imagen. En esa imagen, usted escribe todo. O ahí mismo, como que me lo va a enviar por el email, pero le da un screenshot y lo manda acá. ¿Cómo lo va a agregar? Aquí es bien fácil agregarlo si me lo manda así. Aquí, miren, está el icono, ¿sí? El icono es donde usted va a elegir el archivo de su computadora, de su imagen, ¿verdad? Y lo va a enviar. Acá no pone nada, solo le marca que la imagen es decorativa, ¿verdad? Y eh, le da OK y ya me va a mandar la imagen, ¿ok? ¿Sí se entendió? Sí. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher, have a question. Uh 
Ajá. La información que llevaría el correo entonces sería basada a algo que nosotros le queremos decir. O en eh, sí, pero mire, talking about activities for this and next week using the present continuous. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, utilizando los present, el, el verbo presente. Presente continuo. O sea, el verbo be con el ing. Solo esa estructura estamos practicando, ¿sí? De eso se basa nuestro correo, entonces. Tenemos que utilizar eso. Pero... Usted va Sin a hablar... Excuse me. Sin Excuse importar me. Eh, lo que yo voy a hablar con usted es personal, por decirlo, no es un tema en específico, sino que respetando lo que es el verbo presente continuo. Eh, no, el tema es las actividades de esta y de la próxima semana que usted tiene en su trabajo. Mire, this and next week. <laughs> ok, teacher. Ok. Sorry, ya, yeah, Ajá. All right, aquí está, mire, de esta y de la próxima semana. Teacher. Okay. Dígame. Sorry. Sí, sí. Y repeat, please. Ok, usted se va a meter a la plataforma y va a ir al foro de discusión. En el foro de discusión, usted va a escribir un email hablando de sus actividades que tiene para esta y la próxima semana en su trabajo usando el presente continuo, ¿verdad? Ahí usted tiene que hacer, como expliqué, llevar todos los elementos de un email formal, ¿verdad? Que ahí los estamos viendo. Desde tener un buen subject, también tener un buen addressing, ¿verdad? Tener la firma. La despedida, el saludo, ¿sí? Teacher, o sea que vamos a mandar esta captura y sobre, eh, vamos a tomar de ejemplo eso, para describir lo que nosotros le vamos a poner a usted. Exactamente. Acá usted va a poner su imagen en este icono, mire, le da clic y ahí ya usted le da attach a su imagen. ¿okay? Y ya me va a aparecer aquí como esta que está aquí arriba. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Y, teacher. ¿Y eso para cuándo es, teacher? Esto es para allá. <ríe> Ajá, no, eso ahí lo dejo, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que nosotros ya vamos a terminar. Ahorita estamos terminando la unidad 3. Ya mañana vamos a comenzar unidad 4, ¿verdad? Entonces usted tiene su chance, ¿verdad? Porque cada viernes nos toman auditoría, ¿sí? Y ahorita terminamos. Este día tiene que estar finalizada toda la unidad 3, todas las tareas. Miren, las tareas hasta la tarea 15, ¿sí? Hasta la tarea 15. La mayoría ya llegaron a mucho más de la unidad 3. Pero necesito que los que no están al día, por favor, me hagan las tareas hasta la número 15. Por favor, hasta la número 15 y que me hagan los exámenes, los dos que me deben los exámenes, ¿ok? Bien. Yo solo tengo una pregunta. Dígame, tell me. Es refer to discussions. Is, I think there are six discussions. Yes, know. look, discussion. But, Usted va a la discusión y yeah. vemos todos los tópicos. A ver, tenemos todos los temas y todas estas son las discusiones en las que debieron haber participado. Don't doesn't es una actividad, ¿verdad? Donde tenían que hacer oraciones. What do you like or don't like doing in your free time? Ustedes también tenían que hacer oraciones. Miren qué bonito el que hizo Alma. Eh, talk about personal financial information and work perks. Usted tiene que hacer esta lectura, ¿verdad? Y luego hacer las oraciones como se le piden, ¿verdad? Luego tenemos schedule events at the workplace, ¿verdad? En donde usted debe de hacer un parrafito, ¿sí? Un parrafito en donde usted va a ir Hablando de eventos temporales que están estipulados ya que van a suceder en su trabajo. Tenemos affirmative and negative imper eh, eh, imperatives acerca del COVID. Miren qué bonitos los que me han contestado. Solo Saúl me ha contestado acá y Rosa. Miren, Rosa y Saúl. Miren, bien hechitas sus oraciones. Luego... La última sería writing an email, ¿verdad? Writing an email, que es la de ahorita, ¿sí? Aquí hay un ejemplo. Ya vimos otro ejemplo en la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces usted seguía por eso y 
expande ahí, ¿verdad? Todo su creatividad, deja correr y fluir toda su creatividad y escribe oraciones. ¿sí? Dice, what is the, the deadline in this discussion? Bueno, piensen que lo hicimos en la clase. <risa> Okay, para okay. allá, sí, para lo más pronto posible, antes uh, que termine el curso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. <ríe> sí. Ok, tenemos el viernes, el viernes toman las... Eh, yes, sure. las... But, but it's very hard today. <ríe> I know. In my week, for example. Yes, I know, I know. <ríe> Ajá. Y todos así afligidos, y chole, ahorita lo no sé. Sí, comiencen a pensar. Ya no van a dormir ustedes pensando en el email, ¿verdad? Ajá. Léanlo bien para que descansen tranquilos, ¿sí? Para que descansen. Ah, pues sí, ya sé cómo va a ser. Pues no hay problema. ¿Ok? Sí. Hey, teacher. Bye. Thanks, teacher. All right. Eh, voy a pasar la lista, por favor, todos en posición de alerta. So please, everybody, remember your camera on, and when I call your name, you say present. Alma y Amileta Hernández de Vázquez. Present, teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Present teacher. Débora Yamilet Campos Cortés. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Present teacher. El apellido. Ajá. Ok. Gabriela Elizabeth Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Ok. Helen Saray Hernández Larín. Present teacher. I'm glad to see you, Helen. Uh -huh. Okay. Jose Adonai Mendoza Guión. Jose Antonio Campos Rivas. Juan Carlos Gavidi Alfaro. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Okay, Marta Alicia. Ronaldo Jose Guerrero Hernández. Rosa Estela Polanco García. Present teacher. Ok. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Present. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Ah, it's ok. Eh, Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Present teacher. Ok, people. Then, uh, ahora le toca a número 15. Número 15 tengo a Rosa Estela Polanco. Do you want to stay tonight, Rosa Estela? No, teacher. Y hoy que había tolito de maíz tostado y con leche, des, deslactosada. Sí. <risa> <risa> Ay, bueno, se lo perdió. Y ese no hace daño, fíjese. <risa> ok, ¿quién quiere quedarse? A ver. Rosa se dio el atolito ahorita. <risa> Yo creo que se trabó el Zoom porque no oigo a nadie. <ríe> a Débora ver. se quiere quedar. Débora, ¿usted se quiere quedar? No, está incapacitada. <ríe> ok, vamos a ver. Yes, teacher, necesito descansar porque si no sé so. si se dieron cuenta que esa calle de los chorros ahorita está con una complicidad, un complique para subir. Así. Entonces... Tengo que madrugar, madrugar más, porque mi papá me dijo de que tengo que irme más temprano. Oh, God. Ok, well, I'm so sorry for you, Deborah. I'm sorry. Ok. Bueno, como todos se quieren quedar, bueno, comencemos ahorita y pasemos 10 minutos más en la clase, ¿verdad? No, Bye. son bromas. It's ok. Everybody, have a very good evening uh, and good night, too. So, good see night. you tomorrow. Please do and submit your homework. See you tomorrow. See teacher. you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye, precious baby. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes, bye bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, dear baby. <laughs> All right, bye.